Tonight, Charlotte City leaders say they're working to tackle two big topics. For the first time, the public will get to weigh in on the idea of adding a social district to Plaza Midwood. And there could finally be a new plan on what to do with dozens of acres at the site of the former Eastland Mall. You might remember over a month ago, the Charlotte City Council was expected to vote between two proposals for about 30 acres of land. That acreage remains unaccounted for with plans after Tepper Sports departed from a project there last summer. But City Council instead told two competing developers to come up with a plan together for this plot of land. WCNC Charlotte's Lexi Wilson is joining us live from the Government Center in Uptown. So what are we expecting here, Lexi, tonight? Yeah, well, Charlotte City Council gave those two competing developers 45 days to come together and create a new plan. If this new plan meets all the community's needs, it could possibly move forward and be approved. I mean, this has just been the core heartbeat of the entire East Charlotte community. Tonight, the question could finally be answered. What will go here on about 30 acres of land at the old Eastland Mall site? The people of East Charlotte have been impatient and rightly so. It's taken a very long time to work something out. Two developers pitched sports themed projects to the city earlier this year. QC East would have brought multi-use sports fields, an amphitheater and a place to hold events for eSports. On the other hand, Eastland Yards indoor sports complex would have brought several courts and a learning facility. Monday, both will share an update after the two developers agreed to spend 45 days working with city staff to create a new concept. And I know that they've been working together exceptionally well. Everybody wants this to succeed at this point. Throughout this process, Charlotte East, a community organization who has backed the indoor sports complex, is hopeful their needs of accessibility and no concerts will be met. It's still unclear how these projects come together and which features stay or go. Our desire has been for the actual core anchor to be the amateur indoor sports facility and we do believe that that is going to be the case tonight. I think we're getting much closer to having an outcome that is responsive to their needs and also uh, is a sound structure in terms of what the council is prepared to approve. And both developers were seeking public subsidies in about $30 million. Now, even if the new concept is approved tonight, it'll still take some time before this project comes to life. Now, of course, we're going to go to this meeting and follow it and bring you the latest. Reporting live in Uptown for WCNC Charlotte, I'm Lexi Wilson. Appreciate the updates, Lexi.